Some electric vehicle owners are struggling with their cars as bitter cold weather grips parts of the U.S. Many are learning that their EV batteries can't really handle these sub-zero temperatures too well. Drivers also said that some Tesla charging stations either weren't working or taking longer than usual to charge their vehicles. Joining us now is Jack Brower. He's the director of the Clean Energy Institute and a professor of mechanical and aerospace engineering at the University of California in Irvine. Jacob, anybody who has tried to make a phone call on a cell phone in cold weather knows that cold is the enemy of batteries. So we should expect electric vehicles are also subject to the same problem. So what do electric vehicle owners need to know? Well, uh, electric vehicles will use more electricity for providing the heat for comfort of the occupants, but also battery, electrochemistry, chemistry, and physics all go slower when the temperatures go low. And it's exponentially dependent upon temperature. So if temperatures drop 10 degrees, the processes have to decrease by almost a hundredfold. So you cannot charge as fast, you cannot discharge as fast when the temperatures go low. Jack, does the cold weather in any way damage an EV's battery or is this just a temporary condition? It's a temporary condition. And as a matter of fact, most electric vehicles are already built with the understanding that when it gets cold, you can't charge or discharge as fast. As a matter of fact, when you start a Tesla in the morning when it is cold, you will notice that it doesn't have as much regenerative braking or as much power that it delivers for, during acceleration. So the manufacturers already know that you must slow down the process of charging and discharging. And so it's done safely and doesn't damage the battery. And I, from what you're saying, it sounds like it's the same thing with electric charging stations. Is there a difference yes. between electric charging stations that are out in public versus one that's potentially in a warm garage? Yes, if your car is in a warmed garage and the charger is inside the garage and it's warm enough, it will charge j just like it is on a warm day. So ultimately, what needs to be done to prevent battery problems in cold weather? How much should uh, EV owners um, give in terms of a cushion for that, that mileage predictor um, if, you're, if you're driving around in zero or sub-zero temperatures? Yeah, there's almost no way to overcome these physical, chemical, and electrochemical limitations. And so order of magnitude, half as much distance may be expected when it's really Half. super cold. So if yeah. it says you have 30 miles left, assume that you have 15 and start charging right away. Correct. Uh, I think it's a little bit more than that that you would typically get, you know, like 30% less or something like that. But if you assume half, you're going to be safe. All right. Jack Brower, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome.